Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to review the pot vendor on hold for purchase orders feature that is released in app 10.0.29. Using this feature, you can put the vendor on hold for purchase orders, so the system will prevent the user from creating new purchase orders. You could benefit from this feature in situation like holding the new purchases from a specific vendor, but in the meanwhile, the accounts payable team should be able to process the open invoices or payment for that vendor. This feature is released in app 10.0.29 and it's managed by the feature management workspace. When you enable this feature, a new vendor on hold option will be introduced for the purchase orders. So the current options are all to put all the vendor operations on hold, invoice, requisition, payment, and purchase order. And now let's see a short demo on how to put vendor on hold for purchase orders. First of all, I'll navigate to the feature management workspace to enable the feature of put vendor on hold for purchase orders. Then I'll navigate to the all vendors form to put a specific vendor on hold. I'll select this vendor, then I'll click here on hold. Here in the change vendor status, you can select from the available on hold options. You can put the vendor on hold for invoice, all, payment, requisition, or purchase order. For this demo, I'll put the vendor on hold for purchase order. You can specify when the vendor hold should be removed or released by specifying a vendor hold release date. You can also select a reason code for that hold from a predefined list. So for this example, I'll put this vendor on hold for purchase order due to quality issues. You can select if this vendor should be on hold for a specific legal entity or across all the legal entities. If this is something that should be on hold across all the legal entities, then you should enable that option. Apply hold in all legal entities, then click OK. You can review the vendors that are on hold from the vendors on hold form. In this form, you could review the vendor's information that are on hold, like the vendor account, vendor name, vendor hold level, and when the vendor hold release date. You can create here alert rule to notify the stakeholders when the vendor hold release date is due or before this day by specific days. And now let's validate this process by creating a new purchase order for this vendor. Here in the purchase order form, I'll click new, then I'll select this vendor. Once I select this vendor that is on hold, I'm receiving this message. Vendor 1001 is stopped for purchase order. So this was a quick demo on how to put vendor on hold for purchase orders. Thank you for your time and watching. Take care and good luck.